Did you know that humans share about 98.7% of our DNA with chimpanzees? Fascinating, right? Today we'll dive into the intriguing topic of human evolution. It's a long, complex process with many stages. We'll be exploring seven key stages that have shaped us into the beings we are today, from Sahelanthropus chidensis, our earliest known ancestor, to the arrival of modern humans. So, are you ready to journey back in time to discover how we became the sophisticated beings we are today? Our journey begins about 7 million years ago with Sahelanthropus chidensis. This early hominid was unique, boasting a small brain size akin to that of modern chimpanzees, yet walking upright, a trait exclusive to humans. These key features set Sahelanthropus chidensis apart from our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees, marking a critical divergence in our evolutionary path. From these humble beginnings, we started on a path that would lead us to become modern humans. Fast forward to about 4 million years ago, and we meet the Australopithecines. These beings were a significant step up from our previous evolutionary stage, the Sahelanthropus chidensis. The Australopithecines were marked by their larger brain size, a clear sign of advanced cognitive abilities. This increased brain capacity was likely a driving force behind their ability to use simple tools, a crucial development in our evolutionary journey. Compared to the Sahelanthropus tichidensis, the Australopithecines were more adept at manipulating their environment, a testament to the power of evolution. But as much as they were a leap forward, they were far from being the final product. We were becoming more sophisticated, but there was still a long way to go. About two and a half million years ago, a new genus emerged, the Homo. This group was distinct, boasting a larger brain size compared to their Australopithecine predecessors. This increased brain capacity allowed for more complex thought processes, which in turn led to the development and use of more sophisticated tools. But it wasn't just about tools. The Homo genus also exhibited significant changes in their physical form. They were taller, their limbs more proportionate to ours, and their faces flatter. Comparing these Homo traits with those of the Australopithecines, it's clear to see the evolutionary strides that were being made. With the emergence of Homo, we were getting closer to becoming modern humans. From Homo habilis to Homo erectus, our ancestors started to spread across the globe. Homo habilis, aptly named Handyman, was one of the first of our ancestors to show a significant leap in brain size. With their larger brains, they were able to create and use simple tools, a hallmark of human evolution. Enter Homo erectus, upright man, standing taller and walking farther than any of their predecessors. They were the first to harness the power of fire, transforming the way they lived, ate, and interacted. Fire provided warmth, protection, and a means to cook food, allowing our ancestors to consume a wider range of nutrients. Their social structures became more complex with evidence of communal living and cooperation. These advancements signified a significant shift from earlier Homo species, showcasing the incredible journey of evolution. As we spread across the globe, we continued to evolve and adapt. Finally, about 200,000 years ago, modern humans arrived on the scene. We, Homo sapiens were the latest and greatest addition to the Homo genus. What set us apart, you ask? Well, it was a few key features. Firstly, our brains got a serious upgrade. These larger brains meant we could problem solve like no other species before us and invent technologies that would change the world. Next, we developed complex language. This wasn't just grunts and gestures, folks. It was full-blown communication that allowed us to work together, share ideas, and build societies. Lastly, our technology took a giant leap forward. We weren't just using tools, we were creating advanced tech, like weapons for hunting and art for expression. When compared with our Homo ancestors, it's clear we've come a long way. From our brain size to our language and technology, we've consistently evolved and improved. And that's how we became the sophisticated beings we are today. So there you have it, the seven stages of human evolution. From the humble beginnings of Sahelanthropus chidensis, through the rise of the Australopithecines, the emergence and spread of Homo, and finally, to the arrival of modern humans. A complex, lengthy process that has taken millions of years and continues to fascinate us today. If you enjoyed this journey through time, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. We can't wait to hear what you think.